This Avani Hotel offers easy, easy access to the BTS SkyTrain system. Hello everybody and welcome to a beautifully sunny Bangkok. Sorry club to con. My name is G from Hotel Evel, showing you where to eat, drink and sleep in Bangkok, Thailand. Today, I have the honor of showing you the Avani Sukhumvit Bangkok Hotel. This Avani Sukhumvit Hotel is located between Soy 79 and Soy 81 and it is located above a shopping mall. In fact, you can have direct access to the shopping mall. This shopping mall is called the Century The Movie Plaza. This is the Avani room. It is their standard room and specifically, this is room 2013. They also have another room type, the deluxe rooms, and I'm going to show you one of those very soon. As for my room, there is plenty of space for your luggage as well as your clothing. There are two gowns, two slippers, as well as an in-room safe. And there's also tea and coffee facilities, as well as a bar fridge down there. This room has a king-size bed as well as a sofa to relax. There's a table and a chair, and there are plenty of wall sockets as well as USB charging ports right next to the bed on both sides. And I have a typical Bangkok view. I can see some highways, I can see some of the river, just like the room. The bathroom is modern and stylish. The shower itself is quite large, plenty of space. If you do not like the idea of being watched while you shower, there is a privacy blind which is operated electronically from buttons within the bathroom. I'm on the 27th floor at room 2715 and now I'm going to show you one of the deluxe rooms. This room is definitely better than mine. It is more spacious, more stylish and I noticed a few extra amenities which I do not have in my room as well as there's a coffee capsule machine and in the bathroom I see there is a bathtub in addition to the shower. Unfortunately, this particular room type was not available during my stay here. It really is very pleasant up here on the ninth floor. This is where the swimming pool is as well as the fitness center and the pool deck, a bar, is also up here. Um, it's nice and quiet and I see there's nobody in the fitness center right now so I think I'm gonna make use of this opportunity to show you the fitness center. And for you smokers, you'll be happy to know that there is a very cute smoking section right here by the swimming pool. Wow, this water really is amazing. It is like the perfect temperature. And it's very quiet up here. You have to remember that this hotel is in Sukhumvit Road, which is a very, very busy road. But up here on the ninth floor, you did not hear any of that. I'm sitting here at the deck, which is right next to the swimming pool. In fact, right next to the jacuzzi. And um, they brought me a pepperoni pizza, a Shirley Temple, and a club sandwich. Mm. <clears throat> this is the perfect meal for having next to the swimming pool. That is delicious. I can see egg, tomato, bacon, chicken, lettuce. Well, it certainly got busy here. There are a couple of people here. When I arrived, it was just me, and um, the pool area is pretty much full right now. This is the terrace. It is on the seventh floor of the Avani Hotel, and it is really nice and chilled up here. I'm here for dinner. I'm going to show you in a few minutes exactly what I'm going to have to eat over here. Just to be clear, this is the Avani Sukhumvit Hotel. There's also the Avani Plus Riverside. They are very different. This is a four-star hotel. And the Avani Plus Riverside is a five-star hotel. And you can see my review of that hotel by clicking on the link over here, as well as if you look in the description, you will see there's another link there for you too. Man, I hope the food comes here quickly because I can see the rain coming and this area is not covered. This looks beautiful, doesn't it? This is the Blue Hawaii. Great. So what is this? This is beef nachos. Beef nachos. That looks good. Thank you. Uh, Korean wow, that looks great. Mm. These nachos are really yummy. Mm. That's great. That was a really great meal. And it is lovely up here. It's nice and cool. 
But I want to get down there to street level because I'd like to go show you around this area. So um, I think let's go there before the rain catches us. Recently, the mask mandate has been dropped. You do not need to wear your mask outside. However, if you look around here, absolutely everybody is still wearing their mask. Right outside the hotel, you can even buy pancakes here. And there's a whole lot of grilled food here too. Oh, and chicken, fried chicken. Also in front of the hotel is this little market over here. There are quite a few food options here too. You can even buy some clothes here, including brassieres. Oh, and you can even have manicures done here too. Are you in the market for makeup? If you come here to the hotel using the BTS SkyTrain, then that's it over there. And right there behind you can see there is a bridge which connects the BTS SkyTrain station with the shopping mall over here. And to the shopping mall, you can then enter the hotel. 15 meters down the road from the hotel is also 7-Eleven if you want to do some quick shopping. And there is a very big supermarket right across the road from here if you want to do some big time shopping. You don't even need to cross the road because you can use the skywalk over here underneath the BTS pipeline system to get to the other side. There are so many cables in Bangkok all over the place. Coils and coils of cables. There really is so much food here. I saw everything from coconuts to fried chicken to grasshoppers. Yes, you heard me right, grasshoppers to sushi and sashimi. Here's a real Thai treat. This is called Khao Lam. It's basically rice mixed with something else and it is uh, cooked and served inside of bamboo. Here's another favorite. This over here is crab mu. Yes, you heard me right. Crab mu. It is basically pork, pork crackling. Chokun kap crab mu. Here we go. Aloy magma. Aloy means delicious. It is good. Chokun kap. And then we have noodles of literally every shape and color. Here are the grasshoppers and crickets and larvae and uh, water beetles. They are actually not as bad as you might imagine. Now this over here is a dessert and they look so beautiful. Um, and believe it or not, they are all made from beans. And this over here is kanom buang. <laughs> it's like a, like a pastry uh, with like a marshmallow-ish marshmallow kind of filling. Very sweet, but very nice. And you'll see there's some markets all over the place. There is a lot of food over here and we didn't even go into the supermarket. That was a very good sleep. The bed is comfortable and these pillows are super soft, just the way I like it. Last night I had the longest shower. The shower is great. For now, it's off to breakfast. This is the greenhouse and this is where I'm gonna have breakfast this morning. They are in fact open for all day dining. The thing about the greenhouse is that it is quite spacious and um, everybody seems to be having a good time. The food looks good, they have all of the regular favorites like the English breakfast items. Uh, there's some great bacon, unnoticed beans. I even got the chef to make me their version of Eggs Benedict. As for desserts, well, there's a couple of desserts, including also bread pudding. Yes, I got my bread pudding. It's a great place to plan your day of outings while you have your breakfast. I really have no complaints about breakfast. The restaurant really is spacious and the food is good. Seems like a very nice place to plan your day of excursions while you enjoy breakfast. I'm actually checking out early for a change because I'm off to another hotel now to go do a review there so that is why i need to squeeze the day as they say here at the avani 
The alarm clock over here is pretty cool. It actually has a wireless charging pad, so it makes charging your phone at night very convenient. This area is quite good, centrally located. The fact that you have direct access from the BTS SkyTrain really does make it a lot easier too. Um, and across the road, last night I showed you the night market. That's very nice. So if you come here as a tourist, you certainly have a lot to go and explore. I mean, you could spend a couple of hours just sampling food there at the night market. And then there are so many other venues up and down this Sukhumvit road that uh, offer you great experiences as a tourist too. Well, that is me for now. Nothing left to do other than to call my trusty cab VIP taxi and uh, I'm off to the next destination. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. See you next time.